You see what we have here, we're fortunate enough to have three of the, I would say, premier competition polymer firearms. You know, the Glock 34, the XDM 525, and the M&P Pro Series in 9mm. So these all three are pretty popular on the, well, the competition circuit, the, <laughs> the range circuit, people plinking circuit, uh, even self-defense uh, circuit. You know, so, but these are three firearms that are used uh, quite a lot. You know, the Glock might uh, be the premier, uh, you know, firearm of these three uh, in terms of numbers out there in IDPA or USPSA, not sure. Uh, GSSF, you know, Glock uh, Sports Shooting Foundation uh, matches. But uh, all three are made pretty much for, I, I say for that purpose, but they're also just great shooters. These are pretty much stock firearms too. The Glock has had uh, the sights replaced. It does come with an adjustable rear sight for elevation and windage and the owner has put uh, you know night sights on it okay and uh, he put the tough guy uh, back plate there so that, that's a good reminder when you pull it up and that other than that that is stock and the XDM uh, or XD yeah M uh, 525 this is mine and uh, it is stock I haven't done anything to it I was going to put some talent grips on it but I I just uh, thought I had some and I, I don't I have them on the 45 caliber model just never have uh, gotten them on this and so that's stock and then the M&P Pro Series has uh, talon grips installed rubberized talon grips and uh, the owner put an apex trigger in it to improve the trigger a little bit and otherwise it is stock so so just so you know what we're dealing with here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is shoot each one of these and uh, just do a little compare, contrast. It's probably not too scientific, you know me, you don't expect that, do you? If I were going to launch into a year's worth of serious competition, they say, you know what, I'm gonna get back into competition, heck with making videos, and I'm just gonna go play uh, IDPA or, uh, or USPSA. I would have a hard time choosing right now which of these firearms I would use. I would have to do a lot of what I'm going to do here in a minute and, and sort it out and figure out which one I would want to use to tell you the truth. Okay, Glock 34. Very, very popular uh, in competition. Let's, uh, let's just start with a cowboy. See if I remember where to hold the sights on. Oh, that's right. I remember it, it uh, shoots a little bit above point of aim, I believe. Try a green or a orange. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pretty nice trigger and reset, of course, as you always get. Yeah. I like the reset on the Glock, I really do. It's pretty good. Okay, let's just go on across the hill and take a couple of dong shots. Uh. Okay, I see it ringing across the top and I was holding on the bottom. That's just because of these particular sights. Most Glocks are, you hold right on where you want the bullet to impact. Let me hold low on that uh, red plate, take a couple on it. We go ahead to bring it down some. Yeah, that aim in the dirt makes it a little bit harder. With uh, stock sights or, or maybe some different sights, I would recommend possibly for competition. Uh, although you're not usually shooting at 70 yards in competition. Uh, let me shoot at that uh, ram. Yeah, person went over it, holding out. Okay. Feels good. Uh, let's uh, get a little more ammo. Let's do a little right here close. And load him up. And I have one magazine left up there. Okay. All right. As I've said, I don't like the hump on the Glock. It, it, it's an awkward feel on the Glock 17 grip. 
If I think of any more excuses, I'll throw those out too. Feels like a Glock, imagine that. Let's shoot the Springfield. Now, uh, one thing I didn't say with the, you know, your standard Glock mag holds 17 rounds, the Glock 17 there. So uh, now the uh, one thing about the XDM 525, magazines hold 19 rounds. So you got 19 plus one. That'd be one area where the XDM, uh, you know, has an advantage. Okay, a couple extra rounds. Now you can also see though, the reason it's a little taller than the others. We'll do a little comparison, but it's uh, the grip's a little bit longer you know, than the other two. Not dramatically, but a little bit longer. And if it's strictly a range gun, competition gun, or whatever, not a carry gun, doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. Put them up there. All right. Let's get some of these mags in here. Take a few shots with this baby. Feels pretty good. Let's get a two liter with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. I like that. I gotta be careful. I could shoot a thousand rounds in a heartbeat. Okay. Ooh, more bullets. Let's chamber it up here. Let's go over to Mr. Gong, see if we can put some rounds on him. I can, oh, the sun is just right. I can see the hits from that Glock over there on the Gong. I'm going to hold, I'll hold on the bottom, see where they go. Okay, I see that one. See that one. Oh, saw that one in the dirt. <laughs> Feels good. I like that trigger. Uh, let's try the red plate. Kind of standing in a hole or something. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Let's try a pig. Try a cinder block. I go shooting too fast as usual. Okay, feels pretty good. I'll take just a couple more shots over there. Uh, the turkey. Let's knock him over. Yeah, cinder block again. <laughs> Slow death. <laughs> ah, feels pretty good. All right. I like that. I like that. Let's uh, let's go down here and draw and shoot a little bit. Looks like I shot down a target again there. All right, we're in a match. We've got to be able to hit something here. We got to draw and shoot. So let's do it. Feels pretty good. Oh, I was going to speed load, didn't do it. Sorry about that. Whole thing will get the job done. Missed him before. Okay. Yeah, can't beat the XDM either. Can't beat the XDM. And I had, again, I have to admit, because of that uh, Glock 17 grip, uh, it just doesn't feel as good to me. I'd have to work with that uh, if I was going to, you know, choose that for competition. 
uh, but the grip feels better on the XDM. It's a good shooter. There's no doubt about it. Nothing like having a grip that feels good to you, though. I tell you, got a good grip and a good trigger. It's, it's a world of difference. Uh, by the same token, if your grip just doesn't agree with you, and normally, you know, all of my Glocks, and I have a lot of them, the uh, the grip feels good to me. And uh, again, this is a borrowed Glock, and so it just doesn't feel good to me. So I'm kind of struggling against that when I shoot the Glock 34. Most people, I think, don't mind the hump, and it doesn't hit them that way, but it, it does me. What, what I think one of the best advantages, biggest advantage of this particular Glock 34 is when you're bringing this thing up in competition or any time, you have a reminder on that back plate there to be tough. See, the pirate. Someone probably sells those with Chuck Norris's face on them. That would, that would be ideal. As soon as you bring the gun up, it's get tough. Okay, how's that? I'll be a comedian in my next life, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so that's two of them. And again, either one of those would do fine. I just do a little work on the grip. I could take that and, and enjoy it. And uh, the XDM, I'll tell you the XDM, one thing I, I think I mentioned before. Uh, I I break all the rules, of course, when I shoot. I have my I don't have the pad on my finger on the trigger. I have back and you know up here, uh, but you know, it works for me. And the distance right there, I could measure that sometime. We don't get too nerdy today, but th this distance right here is important to everybody, and maybe more to me. Where that trigger breaks, I don't know if I've ever tried this before, but the distance right there is an important measurement let's put it that way and i suspect on both of these guns other ones it's bigger and it is see that won't fit it won't you know, it lacks quite a bit and it, it just won't i'm not going to move it because i'm going to look at the other gun uh it just it just won't uh that helps it makes that feel better and the same with the m and p i'm pretty sure let's go ahead and yeah uh where it breaks back here it's just a little bit bigger okay and for me, that, that's a little bit of an issue with my large hand, but for most people, I would say it's not. And probably, in fact, it might be in a, a, a positive uh, because most people I have noticed have normal sized hands. How's that for a newsflash? Most people are not 6'8 and not quite as goofy as I am. All right, let's move on then to the M&P Pro Series, another very popular competition gun and just range gun plinking gun uh, defensive firearm you know the pro series is designed more so again for competition that's the the target market market no pun intended but uh hey any firearm you can use for anything right okay let's take a couple shots with it good we just shot this not too long ago let me uh, try the gong yeah still shoots well I have to say pretty nice try the uh, red plate over there See if I can hit in the neighborhood. There we go. Sounded, sounded like the neighborhood. Yeah. Still shoots well. I'm going to see if I can still pick off the chicken with it. Knocked him sideways. I don't know if I can hit him now. Let's try a cinder block. <laughs> Pretty sweet shooter. See if I can hit a ram. I doubt it. <laughs> I tell you, still a good shooter. I'm going to go from the holster here. Well, let's go down here and go from the holster. Yeah, next to it. Okay. Wow, somebody's been shooting at these guys. Look at them. Oops. There I go. I keep forgetting your speed load. Pretty sweet. 
sweet. It's no mystery. This thing shoots, still shoots really well. And again, the uh, the trigger modification, the apex trigger that he's put in there, uh, you know, helps. It has good grip. And you know, like the XDM, it, it, it feels really good to me. Both of them feel really good to me. This one with some modification would feel really good to me. Right now, it doesn't necessarily, but it, it would. I did a little work on it. They're all roughly the same size. Okay, for one thing, we showed you the length on the XDM is a little bit longer, but it holds two more rounds. Uh, they're basically five-inch guns, five-inch barrels. The uh, the XDM, of course, is 5.25, I'll bet. And uh, the Glock is, I think, 5.31 or 5.32. The barrel, they're about the same length, see? I mean, you see, there's no difference there that's going to mount anything. You got the sights all the way back on the XDM. You got a, a hair more sight radius, okay? Now, the M&P is a 5-inch barrel. I think it's a true five inch barrel. One thing though you get with it, you may have just a slightly shorter barrel, but look, you know, there's not enough difference to matter. You look at the front, there's a little difference, but because of where the sights are, you get a long sight radius, uh, actually as long as the Glock, if not longer in sight radius, see, because of the setting of the rear sight. Uh, weight, I really can't tell much difference. They all seem about the same to me. You can check the weights on them. They're about the same in length. Your big difference is how they feel to you really and then the trigger that, that's massive sights are all good you can put any sights on it you want uh you got adjustable sights that come on these but most people if they're going to be serious about competition they're probably going to switch out the sights to something they really like you got uh good sights on this and i like the fiber optic on these they're really quick to pick up and you could put those on the glock if you wanted you got the novak sights that come on the m p that's pretty nice um uh, you know and then you can modify triggers on any of them lighten them and just like uh, the owner has done on this with that apex trigger. This rig here, probably if I was gonna have to go shoot today for money, uh, I, I'd probably pick the M&P because it's, it's got the modifications I like. It's got the talon grips on it and it has that trigger modification which gives it a beautiful trigger. It's got the fiber optics and you know, it's just, it's just ready to go for sure. Like I say, I could work on the tr grip on this and get sights like that maybe. And I'd be happy with that, of course, the Glock. And then uh, this thing is pretty much ready to go too. I might put a bigger grip on it, uh, the panel, and I've got my talon grips on it, and uh, I think that would help. But that's a great shooter. Breaks really nicely on that. Uh, and it, it resets. Yeah, it's a pretty nice reset, too. Yeah, you get your adjustable sights. So, I mean, they're all designed for that. So uh, none of these is junk, that's for sure. They have, and any one of them would serve you quite well.